This video covers the basics of the VSM simulation using Proteus as the debugger. This example is using the ARM LPC2124 processor model and is running the GNU chess project. The firmware has been compiled using the GNU toolchain, which outputs as ELF Dwarf file set containing the debugging information. The main thing we need to do before simulation is specify the ELF file as a program property in the processor in the schematic. We can either type it in directly or browse to it and load it this way. Proteus can simulate the exact same hex file that you would have programmed the physical chip with. However, for source level debugging, you should instead supply the debug files which contain the necessary variables and source code information. For most processor families, this is the ELF file, except for PIC processors where a COF file is normally produced by the compiler. It is important to realise that an external clock frequency is instead taken from the property on the dialog form. This is both for the speed of the simulation and because simulating an external crystal is not of much interest. If you need an external crystal for your PCB layout, you should always edit this circuitry and check the exclude from simulation box as these parts do not contribute to the simulation. Once you have finished the setup, you can begin the simulation by pressing the play button at the bottom of ISIS and interact with the circuitry to test the system. Pressing the pause button at any time will pause the entire system and allow you to view your source and debug windows. For more information on the debugging techniques, please see our other videos. Finally, Pressing the stop button at the bottom of the window will terminate the simulation.